Okay, everybody, we're back. We're gonna talk about the paintbrush command here in order to edit sprites. So there's a few ways you get to that, and you can edit backgrounds with that too, I should say. You can either select the sprite you want to edit and then tap the paintbrush, or when you create a sprite, um, whatever it might be, so we'll pick this fly that I've already created, you can hit the paintbrush here to get to the paint command before you even put your sprite on your game. But let's go to the cat and we'll edit the paintbrush. And let's walk you through what some of these features do. So here are sort of your shape types. This is just a free draw. That's a circle, square, triangle. And this details the thickness of the line for which you make these. Um, and then undo and redo. And then over here, um, you've got the arrow, which just mean that you can manipulate it, drag it around. If you need to move something inside of the sprite screen, this is just to redo. Um, this is to duplicate, like a stamp. Uh, this is to uh, remove. This is to insert a picture. If you don't see the camera, by the way, it means that when you opened the app the first time, you said no to the camera. Um, same could be true to the microphone in the code settings. So you need to go back to the settings on your device and enable the camera. And then it will appear, this means paint the entirety of something. So let's look at this one to begin. So I tap on the paint bucket and then it highlights and now I can select any color. So if I wanted to make this a blue cat, I would then just go and tap on anything I wanted to change blue. So let's do the inside of the tail and the head. Now I've got a blue cat. Okay, let's say I wanted to give the blue cat a mohawk. So for that, we are gonna go up to this squiggly line because we're going to draw. And then maybe the cat's gonna have a red mohawk. So we're gonna tap on red. I need to select the thickness of the line. We'll start with this one. Um, you can also pinch to zoom here. So now I can start drawing the mohawk on my cat. Okay. Go a little bit higher with that. Okay, cat hawk, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, hit the check and then you can pinch back out. Let's talk about um, shapes. Maybe we want to create a shape underneath. Uh, let's put a circle underneath the cat. So I selected the circle tool and now let me choose black for the outline. We'll color it in later. And I'm just gonna tap and then drag to create my circle. This is probably the trickier thing for them, um, learning how to drag the circle properly. Okay, put one over there, just to show you the undo. If I hit undo, it's gonna undo that second circle. Now I'll go back to the paint bucket and let's color in that circle yellow. And we just tap inside the circle, make it yellow. Okay, um, let's also look at how to use the scissor tool. So let's say I accidentally drew something there. Oops, can hit the scissors and then I can tap on that. There we go. Sometimes you gotta tap just specifically on it. Let's talk about the camera a bit. <clears throat> so when you select the camera, you've got a few choices. So once I tap on the camera, um, I've got to actually now tap where I want the actual uh, picture to be. So you could put it inside a shape or if I just tap the background, it should, no, it doesn't work on the background. All right, so let me tap a shape. So if I tap this circle, then it just puts the camera inside that circle, okay? Um, or you can create a shape for the picture. So let me draw a square and then tap the camera and then tap inside the square. And now it opens up my camera inside the square. Um, so that's how you use the camera feature. You cannot import images into Scratch Junior. That's a privacy thing for students. Um, so you have to take the actual photos. And if you could take a photo of a photo, that works too. So anyway, if I'm happy with this sprite, I'm gonna hit the check mark and now I've got my Mohawk cat. So the same sort of tools work with the backgrounds, except you can't edit them from here. So it gets a little bit tricky. So if I wanted to edit this background, what I need to do is go back to the background 
and then I need to reselect that background here. And then I need to go to the edit tool in the background screen. So a little bit more confusing, same interface once you get there. Let's say I want to change the color of that house in the background, give it a red roof and blue walls. I can do that. And now that background is in there, okay? So that's how you use the edit panel. Uh, we'll do another video on how to use all of the code sequences.